as you can see, our, our failures are problematic because when we try to log in, there is no match to log in. So let's go ahead and try to add that and rerun our tests. So when we rerun our tests, we expect the, the destroy action to be taken care of because we've, we've added that. Uh, when we look at this, we see that there's a problem. There's an error, no match route, no route matches action destroy controller logins. Look at this, it's missing these required IDs. I've been skipping over that. And the error is in this, this layouts that we did. If we go to line 14 of that layout, so edit, oops, app views layouts application, and we go to line 14, we didn't tell it which login path we wanted to log out of because um, this it is important if we do our our rake routes what uh, we need to see is that when we do a delete we have to specify which person which user is logging out which ID and so we need to figure that out Right, right now, we have the login path, and we want the the ID or the object representing that that person. So we need a way to represent the current user who is, is logged in, and so we need a, a way to to get that that user's um, ID. And so this is going to be a, an object that we provide just like we provided the logged in method. So let's edit our app helpers logged in's helper and we're going to create a new method which is current user. And what we could do is we could do user dot find and we could give it um, session uh, user ID. Um, and that will find our user based on this user ID. This would be a problem if we're not logged in. Um, and so we'll, we'll have to, to figure that out. But for now, this should take care of our, our tests and they, they should actually be able to try to log out properly here. So we run our tests and we're down to four failures because we're missing our destroy template right here. We don't have that. So if we go um, back to um, our destroy our helpers method at controllers logins we need to do something so what should we do if we're logging out we we know we're not going to display some standard HTML let's do what we've done in the past and just go to some random web page in this case, the only one that we can make sense. We've logged out of the user, so we don't want to go to anything related to them. We don't have a home page, so I guess let's just go to the, the user's path here. And so now we can run our tests again. And, and so we should be a lot further on. There was a, another error above as well that uh, I wanted to point out and that is we've got this other missing required IDs just like we had before and that's because our test didn't say which um, log uh, login path we were expecting this logout to point to so we also have to 
update our test. So let's edit our spec and say that when we have a logout, we expect this to be a login for that particular user. And that's going to um, be much more helpful now. So we can run that test again. And we're, we're able to see what's, what's missing. So now we run, chug, 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 and we're down to just three errors. One is when we log out, we don't have this alert. One is an, another problem in the spec later on. So let's go ahead and change that. Let's see where that is. All right, here. So let's take care of that. And run that. So now we are running our tests. We've got our three errors right here. And let's see what they look like. Uh, we don't have our log out, which means we probably didn't log out. Um, we have, <coughs> or we let me read this again. We don't have our login, which means we probably didn't log out. Here, we didn't want our log out and we still have it. So these are, are probably related. And we don't have this message. So let's go through those one by one. Back to our controller. Let's do uh, our message first, since that will be easy. We know that from here, we want it to be an info level alert so let's do flash info and um, I don't know let's just do the opposite of logged in let's do log out and we can run our test so now we should we should see that message disappear and then we should have the two remaining errors that relate to the fact that our, our links are weird. We expected not to find logout and it was there. We did expect to find login, but it wasn't there. So the links are backwards, which means we didn't really log out. And that makes sense because we haven't written any code that logs us out. How do we know when we've logged in? We set our session variable. So how do we know when we're not logged in? We have to unset that session variable. So let's do that. Let's just set our user ID back to nil, which it should have started at, and then that should cause us to think of ourselves as being logged out. So now when we run our tests, we go completely green. Now let's just watch by running our server here what that looks like on the web page so we can see what that looks like here so we go to our web page let's go ahead first to our users um, page here and you can see that we've got our link to log in because we haven't logged in yet so we click on this link we can sign in as John Doe give the right password and we are now logged in and we have this logout link. Uh, if we go to that website again, that goes away, but it remembered that we're logged in. And now we can go to the logout. It remembered that we're logged out and so it has a link back to logged in. If we go here one more time, our message goes away. So now we have this ability to keep on logging in and logging out as different people and it keeps track of our status of logged in and logged out. So we do have that functionality exactly like we would like. So we are very happy.